This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning. I'm John Delano. Welcome to another special segment of the Sunday Business Page. As the new year gets underway, it's a time of change for taxes and financial planning, no matter your age. So what are the key items you should know? We are delighted to welcome Jason Locks, owner and financial advisor with Synergy Financial, to help us answer some of these questions. Jason, welcome. Thanks, John. What is the most important thing we should know about 2020 in terms of changes? Well, a lot to pack in here, but the SECURE Act just went through here, first of the year. And uh, the biggest thing there is it pushes that minimum distribution age back to age 72, which used to be 70 and a half. So if you're planning to retire, you don't have to take your IRAs until 72 right. to get tax, and you, but you must at that point, and you will be taxed on them. You will be, and a big penalty, 50% penalty if you do it late, so you need to make sure that's on time. What are some of the other things that uh, the Congress has enacted that take effect this year? Yeah, I mean, one thing is for those that are working longer. Many people are working later into their lifetime, and now you can contribute to an IRA even as late as 80 if you want to, if you're still working and have earned income. Really? Yes, sir. So there's no limit on that? That's right. I mean, 80, for heaven's sakes. That's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure any of us want to be working at age 80. <laughs> Might, but if we, if we want to, yeah, we still can contribute to that IRA. Are there other changes with respect to taxes that we should be aware of? Well, from a tax standpoint, the standard deduction now has gone up a little bit. For a single person, it's gone up an extra $200. And for a married couple, it's gone up $400 to 24800 Wow, so that's an improvement. Yeah, that'll help. And what about tax forms themselves? Are they getting any easier? <laughs> I don't know about easier, but the W-4, that's the form that you tell your employer how much tax to withhold, has gotten a little bit simpler. There's a new one that's available. You don't have to complete the new one, but it gives you the opportunity if you need to adjust that tax withholding, you can make that adjustment. And this is a good time to adjust. I mean, if you have other reasons to not want the government to take your money right. now, and you'd rather wait till you file your tax return, this is the time to file a W-4 and to tell your employer, hey, don't withhold quite so much from my paycheck. Right, you want to jump on that, or any life change that might have happened, a marriage, a uh, new child being born, those are all reasons to reevaluate. Are there other things uh, from a tax standpoint that we should know? I mean, from a tax standpoint, we are uh, those that want to get a catch up, you know, New Year's resolution on saving more retirement money. The contribution limits for 401ks have gone up. So if we're over age 50, there's an extra $500 in what's called the catch up provision. That's now at $6,500. Uh, so that takes the total that someone over age 50 can contribute up to 26000 this year. Bottom line, Jason, this is a good time to review your financial planning because there are changes in the works. Absolutely. Well, Jason Locks, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We really appreciate My it. My pleasure. And thank you for joining us on this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Please do write to me if you have a suggestion for a guest or drop me an email at jdelano at kdk.com. I'm John Delano. Have a great Sunday, everyone.